We are here in the magical mountains. There's a TV crew. Is your koi selling for upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars? It's an honor to be here to see after seven months what they're gonna pull out. These are the most important fish that they own. Truly priceless fish. Oh, I got one. <laughs> We are here in the magical mountains of Nagaoka, Japan. From these two ponds that you see in the background, we're gonna be harvesting some koi. Our own koi, hopefully. We want like a little one, potentially, that we can take home. That'd be so cool. And then also, what's really cool about this experience is there's a TV crew that is here with us because they are also interested in capturing what you guys are seeing for the national TV here in Japan. Awesome, large, beautiful koi are in there that we're gonna be pulling out. These mud ponds are, are where the Japanese koi breeders bring all of their fish at the end of the season to grow out, to have them grow bigger, to become stronger, and potentially become a champion grand koi. Because if you become the grand champion koi, that means your koi is selling for upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's kind of the point of these ponds, is they're like big grow out tanks, essentially. These are the breeders, uh, the name of this breeder is Shintaro, maker of dreams. It's a father and a son, actually two sons who own these mud ponds, who own the whole breedery. They're gonna be showing us today how to harvest koi. How cool is that? So we're gonna be putting on these <laughs> suits so that we don't get dirty. You ready for this, mom? Yes, You ready I am. to get dirty and get in there and catch some koi? I'm ready to get muddy and help harvest these beautiful fish. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it should be this difficult. <laughs> how do I look? You look great, Mom. It's great. It's awesome. It's beautiful. The maker of dreams. <laughs> dreams are 100% coming true today. And to complete the look, to complete the fit. Thank you. We got the hats. Thank you very much. This is awesome. As I said, I don't know how anyone else would even find these bud ponds. The reason that we were able to find this secret pond is because of this guy, there you go. Mr. Tim. The he best. runs <laughs> Koi Trips at Koi Trips. He knows all the secret spots. So thank you for bringing us here. Yeah. What is in this pond? You want to explain these to These are parent koi. So these are the breeder's most important fish. The, without these koi, they couldn't run a business. So these are the most important fish that they own. And they're priceless. These are priceless. You know, these are truly priceless fish. They wouldn't do very well in koi shows or anything like that, but these can produce the babies that they need. So the quality of these fish is not in the aesthetic way, but the quality is how they produce. The breeding power. Yeah. The the breeding power. These are all bloodlined as well, so. Are there going to be any little baby koi no, in here? No, no. Oh, there's not? No. Oh. They'll be separated between males and females, <laughs> oh. so we hope not. We hope not. That's a bummer. <laughs> yeah. I think we got to go get with the others. It's time to harvest. We are going to go help them pick out some of these massive koi. They're throwing the nets out right now they're casting for the fish and they're just making a big circle so they're gonna capture all of them within this net what do you think it's an honor to be here to see after seven months what they're gonna pull out I mean can you imagine having your fish out here for seven months not seeing what they look like until today what was it like coming up here this it was a morning force you know then the Sun came out and burned it off within 15 minutes but man driving through there it's like going to the hidden koi pond you yeah know? it's, it's certainly what it felt like so unique Kosuke the breeder's second son is all the way on the other side of this pond and we are slowly but surely corralling all the koi. You can zoom in and you can see them in the middle there, pulling them to shore. There's the expert right there, making sure that the newbies are doing it the correct way. So now we start pulling them in. Yes. All right, so we've nearly brought all of the fish to shore here, and we're about to literally get our hands on them, pick them up, and throw them into this mini pond. Then we're gonna be putting them into the truck to transport back to their main koi house. We got a little bit of experience doing this yesterday, so hopefully I should be a little bit better <laughs> handling these koi. Look at that. You see that? Yeah, that they're remaining so calm as yeah, we're bringing them in. Jump. You'd be yeah, thinking they'd just be jumping like totally. Flop. So what they're doing now is they're raising the nets, putting those stakes in, trying to create this barricade, and that little pool is where we're gonna be picking them up, putting them into, and then we're gonna end up throwing them into that truck. Oh wow! <laughs> that's a big one. Wow, he's massive. Oh, wow. oh that's wow. a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm dead as a crow. Wow. That color's like rich. They don't want the pregnancy. Are you hungry, George? Yeah. There you go. Ah. Oh, there you go. There we go. Yay. 
This one is. It's responsible for all the baby koi, so you really can't put a price on it. Look at that. And he's gone back home to the main crib. Isn't that insane? That guy's responsible for so many of the different koi that are being bred. You got him, Mom? I think so. Now watch the net. Pick the net up over here. Oh, here you go. I got one. Oh. I got one. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I got one. I got oh, one, and God. I lost one. So they're bagging them up to take them to the truck now. Because look how many koi we got in here. There's got to be like at least seven or eight massive gems right here. All right, so now we're going to bag one up. Can you show me how to do it? This way. Easy. Oh. You want the head to go in first? Yeah. Okay. Well, good? Right, we're gonna take this guy to the truck. Now. Wow. There was just one. You get the picture? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So this water is a little bit warmer. So they have an aerator in here so that as we're driving them back, they're gonna provide them with plenty of oxygen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're pumping pure oxygen just a little bit into here so the fish will be fine till we get back to the koi house. That's what they told me and I trust them. So look how many koi we got. Many. I would say pond one, mission accomplished. You did okay. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't really get it well, you know. So, well, you get another chance because we're about to go do pond number two now. We get a second chance at this, or at least you do. I the think I did pretty well. The koi are extremely slippery. I mean, they're so slippery. It's unbelievable. I don't know how anyone catches them to begin with. Last pond that we were just catching them from were all the females. In this pond, it's all the males. <laughs> Time to bag these bad boys up. This little guy's squirming. <laughs> no, no. I need a picture. Okay. okay. I love that my job. <laughs> he loves his job. I love his job too. It's a good job. <laughs> Love this guy. He's the nicest guy ever. Are you ready? Yes. What do you think? Did we do a good job or a bad job? Yeah, good job. So, how old are you? 24. 24. I'm 22. Oh, young man. Yes, we are both very young men. <laughs> so, how soon are you taking over? Uh, maybe this month finish. At the end of this month, you're gonna control. Father decides. Father decides. The way it works here is that the very first son kind of gets everything passed down to them. He is the second son yeah. but your older brother decided he didn't want to take over the farm he wanted to do what something else right yeah it is gonna get passed down to him see you soon <laughs> So we're back at the koi house and they're about to unload koi that we caught into one of their houses. Wow, look at that.
because you know, this is the big one. Here we go, guys. Up this one is 12 years old. Okay, hold on. One, one, one more minute. One more minute. Here, get ready, buddy. Did he carry that or no? Greg, remember, buddy, you break or you buy her. You need all this muscle for this. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Whoa! Wow! Let me see, Greg. Look at Which one? So these are all the fish that we caught today. These are some giants, big boys and girls in here. And what they make are these little babies. All these little babies. That's what those guys are responsible for making. These are some bigger ones. You want one of these, Mom? I definitely want one of these. I really want to get one from Shintaro because the maker of dreams, because we've had such an incredible experience with him. I mean, it would just be cool to have a fish is from Shintaro. All right, so I told my mom to pick out a couple of the teenage little Shintaros. That way they could grow up in our pond back home in Chicago. Uh, the problem was there's so many fish in here that it was really hard to point them out. But my mom did find two eventually that she really liked. Finally found one she liked. I definitely found one I love. The problem now is going to be um, catching those two out of the group. Now I tried to explain to my mom like, hey, they may not be able to catch the exact one that you want. There's hundreds in here, but Shintaro and his two sons were just so nice and they went out of their way to like literally spend an extra 20 minutes to catch the two exact individual fish that my mom wanted. I thought there was no way that they were actually going to be able to catch them, but they did. Yep. That's that one? Yeah, that's definitely one of the two that we wanted. Yeah, that's so definitely one of our guys. Beautiful. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> moment, moment. About six months old? Yeah. So thank you, massive thank you to Shintaro and family. You guys just made this experience so unbelievable for my mom and I. And it's just, it's something that we'll never forget. And these fish will be swimming in our backyard pond for years to come and always be a reminder of how amazing the Shintaro family was. So couldn't be happier to have selected our first two koi from Shintaro. All right, guys, this has been like one of the coolest experiences ever. If you guys are interested in coming on a trip like this, make sure to hit up at Koi Trips Timothy. He's your guy. He's going to be able to show you all these secret ponds, secret koi breeders and destinations where you can literally go harvest the koi yourselves, potentially pick some out for yourself and buy them. It's been a dream come true. It really has. It's really amazing how far aquariums and my hobby has taken me and brought me. And I'm really grateful and I'm humbled to be able to have seen this entire process. So it's been unreal. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George. Out. The final day, and we got to pick out our koi. Can't we've, wait. We've been searching and searching, but today is definitely the day that we got to pull trigger on some koi here. I'm pretty excited. I've seen so many, and uh, I want to go pick out my little pretty babies. So we're about to head into this new breeder, and we're going to see if they've got some koi for us to pick out. So we got a whole box of koi. Great picks, George.